And what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the display room. Today I got some new Hot Wheels in front of us. One of them here is a Matchbox. But the rest are Hot Wheels. We're going to take a look at them, open them up, review them, and race them. Some nice ones here. We'll start off down here with the tuners. We have the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Truno. Pretty much a Toyota Corolla. And a Nissan Silvia, which you really can't tell from the angle, but now you can. It's more of a purple color this time than a silver. So I'm eager to get those two open. And for our off-road category, we have a nice looking Toyota off-road truck. I like that orange and the muddy wheels. And going up against it will be this awesome 1970 Dodge Power Wagon. Very cool looking truck there. In our muscle category, we have 32 Ford in the Uno livery. A little bit different, but still looks pretty nice. And we have a Fast and Furious 1970 Chevelle SS. Very cool car there. Can't wait to get that one open as well. And moving down to this series, we have the race team and hot trucks. Right there we have the 2010 Chevy Impala, which is our king of the hill right now, so we'll see if the white one's any faster. And the 1999 Ford SVT Lightning F-150. Been looking for that one for a while. Hadn't really found it, so I had to pick up two to open one. And down here to another off-road series, or category, we have a 1970 Datsun 510 Rally by Matchbox. Definitely my favorite casting by then. by them. And uh, upon further review, I saw that this blister is absolutely destroyed. Looks like someone might have uh, been trying to snatch it out of there. It's pretty bent up too. Can't imagine that just happened from the case or store wear. And right here we have a white variation of the Big Air Bel Air. So we'll start down here with the tuner cars. Open them up, review them, and race them. Alright, we got the camera set up. Let's take a look at that one. Love the Falcon livery on there. Very cool looking. Definitely had more than one of these in my cart, but to save money, I put back a lot. Kind of kicking myself for not picking up as many short cards as I could have, because I never find short cards. And they're always at the same store whenever I go to the mire around me. But it is what it is. There's always another chance to find them on a normal card like this. But uh, let's get this one cracked open and take a look at it. This one's from the Hot Wheels Drift Series. Awesome looking car. Open it up as clean as possible. That went really well actually. Check that out. Barely any, any damage at all. And there is that awesome looking car. Very cool looking. Love the carbon fiber hood. Maybe not carbon fiber but just black. Got some tampos on there. Very cool. We got five spoke wheels and a nice silver. Looks like it would be a hatchback. Alright, let's put him in the right hand lane. And going up against him is this awesome purplish blue color variant of the Nissan Silvia. Let's go ahead and get that one opened up, take a look at it. This one's from the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series. That one came open pretty well too, I'll be able to keep that card. And there is that awesome looking vehicle. Definitely a little bit better looking than that grayish silver color that was previously on it. I love the gold on the rims and the side. Very unique looking. So let's get these two lined up, set them down the track and see which one's faster. Best out of three as always. Alright we have some awesome tuner cars lined up here. See which one's quicker. And it looks like the Toyota took him out. Let's run him again. Alright, we switch lanes. Let's see if he can take it again. And that time the Silvia got him. Very good race. Alright, it's anybody's race this time. Here we go. Very evenly matched, but it looks like the Toyota got him. Nice race. Two awesome vehicles for sure. Have them parked on the sidelines. Let's get the next two open. 
Alrighty, up next we have these awesome vehicles from the Baja Blazer series. We have the Toyota Off-Road Truck. <clears throat> Excuse me, I love the orange color on there. Fits it very well. Number 55. My only complaint is the color. I'd much rather have the whole wheel being muddy. Looks kind of unrealistic, but very cool nonetheless. Let's crack it open. And there is that awesome giant off-road truck. I'm not 100% sure if these are going to fit on the track, so if they don't, bear with me. We'll just give them a review. And up next, we have this awesome power wagon. Probably one of my favorites that I picked up. See if we can get it cleanly open. And not so much, but wow, what a truck. Very nice looking. Pretty heavy. Nice beefy. Love that truck. Alright, let's get these two lined up and see if they even fit on the track. And well, unfortunately our power wagon's a little bit too big. But he fits regular on the regular track, so let's see if we can give him a little bit of an advantage here. And not so much. There it goes. Alright, let's go ahead and try it this way. And that Toyota definitely seems to be a little bit quicker. Very cool off-road vehicles, but in case you're wondering, Power Wagon is just a little bit too big for track sets like this. Very nice looking though. Let's move on to the next two. Alright, and moving right along, up next we have the 32 Ford with the Uno livery on the side. Let's get it open, that's a nice looking car there. Very cool looking red color. Nice shiny engine. Let's get it put over in the lane. Put it in the right lane. And it'll be going up against this awesome red 1970 Chevelle SS from the Fast and Furious movie. Part of the Hot Wheels Screen Time series. Definitely going to have to be picking up another one of these. That car looks just awesome, very plain looking, which I do like. Very nice looking, you can see the back, nice and lifted. Got some big slicks on it. So let's get the track set up and race them down. Alright, we have some awesome muscle lined up and ready to go. Here we go. And that 32 Ford jump forward, best out of three. All right, let's see if the Ford can knock off the Chevy again. And that time it looks like the Chevy got him. All right, it's anybody's race. Let's see who's going to take it. And the Chevy got him. Very nice car there. Just love the color on it. And the wheels match it quite perfectly. Let's move on to our next two. All right, and our next two are going to be... 2010 Chevy Impala in the white looks a little bit different than our last one Our king of the hill So Let's get it opened up take a look at it Very very cool I think personally I like this white look with the gray rims a little bit better uh, It's got a real different feel to it. It's not real shiny and smooth Kind of a matte looking and feeling color on it so let's get that one lined up, and it'll be taking on the 1999 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning, a nice golden, almost bronzy looking color, and here is that awesome truck, very happy to have found this one, been looking for it for a while now, like I said I'm not sure if anybody really heard me say but I'm a couple cases behind so I was able to find some awesome stuff when I was out and let's get the track set up and prepped and get these cars ready to go alrighty here we go let's see who's gonna take it and the Impala very fast casting for sure going to show that a color difference really doesn't make much of a difference let's get them lined up again all right, we switch the lanes, see if the Impala can take it again. And it does, it launches straight forward. 
Very fast casting. Might be a contender to go up against our King of the Hill. All these cars that you're seeing here, definitely going to have them in the actual race. This is more of just a review and play video. So stay tuned for that one also. Let's check out our last two cars. And for our last two, we have a Matchbox. My favorite Matchbox casting for sure. The Datsun 510 Rally, 1970. With the damaged blister and messed up card, let's get it open. Part of an off-road rally series. I did find some other cars there from this series. There's all those if you're interested. I only found this Porsche, but I didn't even bother to buy it. I'd love to find the whole set. But there is that awesome Datsun. And a green, and orange, and yellow, and a little bit of blue on there. Very, very cool variant of that car. Like I said, that's probably my fourth variation of that car now. From five packs and uh, 65th anniversary. Up next, we have another Hot Wheels, the Big Air Bel Air. In white. Don't have this variation yet, so now I do. Let's let it breathe and get out of the packaging. And there it is. Very nice. I love this casting. Pretty unique looking. And it does. It fits on the track. Let's send them down. Alrighty, my money's on the Datsun. Let's see who's going to take it. Oh, and the Big Air Bel Air knocks him off. Let's get him lined back up for best out of three. The Big Air Bel Air is a very swift casting. Flies right down the track. Let's see if he's going to take it again. And he does. He knocks off the Datsun. Very, very cool casting right there. Also with that kind of matte feeling and looking paint job. Very nice. So let's go ahead and take a little overlook of all of our cars again. Some awesome ones from previous cases released this year. Very, very cool cars. I'm very eager to try to find duplicates, so I have them on card as well. But I just had to let these breathe and get out of the packaging. I definitely love to keep my stuff in the packaging, as you see with a lot of this older stuff in the background. But, it's also very fun to get them open and hold them and take a look and see how quick they are. So, no worries, we'll find duplicates eventually. You can always get them online, even if you don't find them in the store. So I hope you enjoyed that review and play video. Stay tuned for another race. Stay safe out there. Keep on collecting.